Hello and welcome to PMPLounge.com and today we are discussing why organizations must deliver complex projects. <laughs> and from the perspective of organizations, this is not fair to them, right? What if an organization just wants to deal with simpler projects? Why should they get into complex projects? And if you're talking about large organization, multinational companies, of course, they're the specialists in delivering complex projects. So why must organizations deliver complex projects? And this is a part of a report available on PMI for free. It's a pulse of the profession report from 2013. It's called Navigating Complexity. All copyrights acknowledged. We don't intend to infringe any copyrights of PMI. This is basically a report which is available for free. I will link to this report in the description. Do download your own free copy. All right, so let's get started. So the first reason mentioned in the report is that complexity is not going away and will only increase. Bad news for some of us, right? So complex projects is the way to go. The complexity level of projects is not coming down in, in, in the near future. And there are certain quotations by some of uh, top shots from the industry and they're basically describing what is leading to, to this uh, complexity, right? And ambiguity is one of the main reasons. So one such person cites that how ambiguity uh, is, is, is on the rise, right? With this complex projects, because when a project is extremely complex, the customer who is not an IT person is not able to describe his requirements and give it to the delivery team or the project management team or the project manager. So there is there seems to be a lot of ambiguity in terms of requirements and at certain times the customer himself is not sure of what he is really looking for because it is just too complex it is just too many use cases so a customer cannot define everything that he wants and which basically leads to ambiguity in requirements which basically leads to change requests which basically leads to revision in terms of the cost required for the project which leads to revision in terms of the time required for delivering the project so a lot of ambiguity is uh, on the rise with this complex projects right so complex projects bring with them a lot of ambiguity and then there's another example as well from someone from the global mortgage lending bank and he mentions basically that there is a multiple level of stakeholders involved in complex projects so you've got banks executives right they need a certain IT solution. So they reach out to the bank's own IT team, the bank's own IT project managers, who may then realize that the capability of the bank's IT team is not good enough to deliver that IT solution. And then they may contact, a, a, let's say, an IT solution provider and communicate to them the requirements or, or which which is being uh, which is the part of the project basically so you see multiple level of stakeholders right you've got the top notch executives of the bank you've got the bank's own it team and then you've got the solution provider right so three levels and th this this basically leads to a lot of moving parts and a lot of ambiguity in requirements as well so complex projects one of the biggest reasons of complexity in these huge projects is ambiguity of requirements and then the second reason is that large budgets are at stake so obviously we're talking about huge projects here we are talking about complex projects here complex uh, projects with high level of complexity so and it's mentioned in the report that the average budgets for projects that are highly complex are nearly twice as large as other 
usual projects that we have so we are basically dealing with projects which are twice as expensive as non complex projects so large budgets are at stake we must this, this is basically high risk right so we must take care of complexity And then finally, the report suggests that effectively navigating complexity delivers a competitive advantage. And that's, I mean, that's a given, right? If you are a part of a company or if your organization excels in delivering large complex projects, that is a competitive advantage, right? So uh, it's mentioned here in the report as well that a challenge to be managed and potentially exploited not a problem to be eliminated so these complex projects this complexity is basically a challenge that can be managed and it can be exploited for the organization's own good it is not a problem that you need to eliminate complex projects no it's not like that if you can generate additional sources of profit and competitive advantage with delivery of these complex projects why not exploit it why not go ahead and deal with complex projects right so it's it's an as mentioned here it's it's a competitive advantage for an organization if they excel if they expertise in delivering complex projects and then the other thing is that companies that deliver complexity manage complexity that deliver complex projects are very hard to imitate right it's it's their expertise it cannot be imitated making simple websites as as project and i mean that is like the simplest example i can take when it when we are talking about non-complex projects is is a is something that anyone can do right is something that anyone can imitate right but then providing a banking solution banking it solution and which, which is a complex project by the way is something that not every organization can do so if you navigate these complexity you have a competitive advantage against your competitors of course So that's all we had in this video. Do follow us on our social media, facebook.com slash PMP lounge and twitter.com slash PMP lounge for the latest updates uh, for the PMISMs and a lot of helpful articles and videos which will help you in your PMP exams and will keep you up to date in what is happening in the project management industry. If you like this video, if you learned something you didn't already knew, do hit the like button and you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel for keeping in touch with all the videos that we upload. And as always, you can check out the website pmplounge.com for more such helpful videos and great detailed articles that are going to help you clear your PMP exam. Thank you.